It's part six, and in the last part, we had to fight this feisty, big, alien monster thing. Actually, no, it's not an alien monster, it's a real fish. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, God. Okay, listen here, old lady. Which is not even really an old lady, it's just a tongue. Yep, you should just knock it off like that. What the heck are those little, like, swirly green things? I could never figure that out ever since I played this game as a kid. Well, when, when it first came out, at least. Oh, I, I could never figure out. What are those green things? Are they just, like... What, like... I can't figure out. Are they, like, bugs? Okay. Yeah, you can just beat that thing around, and then it'll just... You can actually... You can actually hurt him if you deflect it. I think. Did that hurt him? Yeah, as you can tell, the cartwheel gives you better mobility too. So that's pretty useful. Alright, can I deflect these things out of Okay, no, that did not work. Okay, that doesn't hurt him. Wow. So it just basically gives you a free shot if you keep getting hit? What the heck was that? He was like licking his hands. convinced our heroes to continue on to Shell City. So, in order to become men, they cried like little babies. They play a sound effect of babies, Someone what? On their tail. With no time to lose, Princess Mindy thought of a better idea, and our heroes quickly became men and marched toward the treacherous French. <laughs> Judging from the way the thing made it look like, it basically made it look like as if they suicided off of it, like by jumping into it. But, um, I think that's actually what, they, yeah, that's what they did in the movie, but in this, it makes it seem like they just kind of jumped down, like, woo! To get to Shell City, you're going to need to cross the bottom of the trench. You can get to the bottom using this slide. Wait a minute, is this another slide level? The only way across the trench is along the bottom. What the heck this is? Mm. Oh, no sweat, <laughs> They got the little mustaches on them. What the... Okay, I'm not expecting that, actually. I thought... I, I hardly even remember this level. I actually do remember that this was it, but only when I first saw it, I'm like, what the heck? Oh, I knew there was something. So there's three... So basically, there's three levels of pure nothingness. There's no actual levels for three levels. Wow. Bosses don't count. But I will say that the later, the later, like the last few levels are literally nothing but SpongeBob levels. So I can see why there's actually a lot of more Patrick levels earlier on. Oh. 
Okay, there's an upgrade, so I'm just gonna get health for SpongeBob. You know, what, maybe I should have saved that and wait until the next level, because SpongeBob gets a new ability in that level. But eh, whatever. Seriously, I can't see why people hate this game. And no, Jacob, this has nothing to do with the fact that, oh, it's a SpongeBob license, because I can't understand how you would hate a game just because you don't like the characters that are in it. Well, not because of their personalities, but because of the, the franchise they're from. Because that's kind of like saying you don't like the cheeseburger because you don't like what kind of... Because you don't like the brand of cheese they put in it. I mean, if it tastes the same as any other type of cheese, then I'm pretty sure there's no problem with it. Oh my god, these things fire fast. How can any little kid do this without dying a few times? Seriously, kids game, yeesh, this is a pretty hard kid game. Well, it's not really hard for me, I'm just saying for a little kid this would probably be like, whoa. Then again, little kids today are treated to Call of Duty instead of actual good games. Okay, no, I don't necessarily think Call of Duty is a bad game. It depends on which one it is, because I think Black Ops 2 and 4 and Call of Duty 4 were pretty good games, but still, little kids playing Call of Duty is a little bit messed up in my opinion. Still. I'm taking the upper path. Yeah, this is still back then when platformers were pretty much the norm for any cheap caching game. Oh, this is not a cheap caching game. It's actually pretty good. But, like, reviewers, mo the highest review I think was like an 8.5. I mean, seriously, I think this game it doesn't deserve anything really higher than a 9, but it's definitely not like a 6, like some or like many reviewers were giving it. I mean, it's a good game. It's actually fun. I mean, I mean Banjo-Kazooie is... I like playing it, but I... I be Doing it blind is a bit frustrating when you're recording because you're trying not to mess up because you don't want to look like an idiot in front of any of everybody, which is why I, didn't, I don't really enjoy playing it that much because... It, it's... There's really nothing to commentate about anyway, because it's basically just you searching around looking for stuff to get. But being that it's kind of blind, it's a bit more easy to deal with, though. With stuff to actually talk about, I mean. How is that for you? I mean, really, honestly, I'd really like it if, like... Oh yeah, this is another thing, like, there are a lot of sections in this where they give you, like, zero patties to work with, and yet you have to survive like this. Seriously, how is any kid going to be able to do this? I mean, that's not a bad thing, because I actually like difficulty in games, but that's... This is a little bit too hard, don't you think? Then again, this was back when Spongebob was also pretty much for adults, too, so I can understand adults buying this game. And then in 2005, it all changed. Well, technically, I think the episodes in 2005 and 6 were actually okay, but they weren't as good as the ones before that. Because now, Spongebob's a cash cow franchise, but being this was still around the point where Spongebob was still pretty good, I don't see a reason to hate the game for the franchise. Because... Even Creature from the Krusty Krab, I don't remember what year that was. No, here's the thing about the Spongebob video games. All the Spongebob video games have actually still been pretty funny. I mean, like, the Nicktoons games, they're actually kind of funny. But the actual show itself, no. Like, I put, I have uh, about uh, the Volcano Island one, the original Nicktoons Unite. That was actually kind of funny. Like, I actually laughed at the antics they had in that game. Like, the ending was... Although the game clearly had Spongebob as a, the main character. Did it? Of course we did. We're men. Now there were men. Yeah, 
Right. Can't do anything now that we're men. I changed my underwear now that we're men. Um, we'll go to Shell City. We'll save the crown. We'll save the day. And I can't really remember anything beyond that. The young'uns will pretty much not find this game that easy. It's quite hard, on the contrary, but. This place is full of horrible, hideous, and disgusting monsters. You've got to cross what the What the heck is that out. thing? Ew, it's eyes! Like that, that's kind of generic looking, but. What the heck was that? It's like it's eyes! It was just like looking at him with that look. Ugh. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. What the? You don't I don't have enough Goofy Spongebob. Goober tokens? Sorry, I need 20? Oh, I have 19. Uh, I'm gonna have to do these. Uh, uh, oh, I don't wanna do it. Though. I'm gonna have to do one of these levels, because I pretty much got all the other ones you can get at this point. Oh, wait. Throwing the I don't have the throw ability. Yeah, basically, I'm gonna have to do some of these. Uh, no, I'm gonna do rub it up, dub and slide in the tub. Slip slide in the tub. Okay, time challenge. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna record this, so see you in the next part, because I do not feel like having to go through this while you guys watching. It's gonna be way too torturous. So, see you in the next part, and that uh, will be it for now.